All right, class, we're going to transition from our bell work, which we just figured out who the man is, what the man is. Um, you said it was your parents. You said it was the principal. You said it was your big brother. You said it was the President Obama. Um, so we're going to transition into, um, into something really unique. Um, we're going to step away from the Hunger Games for the day. Um, but we're going to continue to trace that theme of resistance. Um, we've talked about it a lot, kind of basically every class it comes up. Um, so we're going to look at a poem and see if we can't trace that theme of resistance through the poem um, and on into our lives. So um, this is just a chance to kind of reiterate and see the fact that the Hunger, Hunger Games is more than just this story about Katniss and Peeta. Um, it's this book about something bigger. Um, so if you guys will take out your sheet, I am going to read you the poem the first time, and then um, and then we're going to discuss. I'm going to read it a second time, um, and we're going to discuss, and then um, you'll hear it for a third time. So going into the first read, I just want you to close your eyes and really think about what emotions does this poem um, exude and what's going on in the poem and just do you like the poem? Um, I, I think that should be how the first read is. So close your eyes and listen up and um, yeah, we'll see, remember that, that theme of resistance. Paranoia is in bloom. The PR transmissions will resume. They'll try to push drugs that keep us all dumbed down and hope that we will never see the truth around. Another promise, another scene, another packaged lie to keep us trapped in greed. And all green belts wrapped around our minds and endless red tape to keep the truth confined. They will not force us. They will not stop degrading us. They will not control us. We will be victorious. Interchanging mind control, come let the revelation take its toll. If you could flick a switch and open your third eye, you'd see that we should never be afraid to die. Rise up and take the power back. It's time the fat cats had a heart attack. You know their time's coming to an end. We have to unify and watch our flag ascend. They will not force us. They will not stop degrading us. They will not control us. We will be victorious. They will not force us. They will not stop degrading us. They will not control us. We will be victorious. So open your eyes um, with your elbow partner next to you. Talk to them. What emotions came about? Were it, was it an angry poem? Was it a happy poem? Um, these are the first things that we should begin to look at as we um, explore poetry. What's going on in the poem? Is there a story? Is there a message? Um, if there is a story, who's the main character? If there is a message, what are they trying to tell us? Um, and did you like it? Um, so take 30 seconds. Each of you needs to share and, uh, and then we'll move on with our lesson. All right, who got what? Who got what? You liked it? You didn't like it? Great. Okay. Perfect. That was our discussion. Okay, the second read. The second read, there's a very distinct they and a very distinct we. Okay, so this time with our eyes open, I just want you to follow along with your pen and let's, let's circle the things that are the or they, so circle they, and then maybe things that describe they, and then let's square we, and maybe square the things that that define or describe we. Um, so we will be victorious. That's a line that it says. So I would square we, and then I would I would square victorious, and maybe you know draw that connection. So here we go again. Along you're kind of reading along and and. Marking up your, your poem as we go. Paranoia is in bloom. 
the PR transmissions will resume. They push the drugs that keep us all dumbed down and hope that we will never see the truth around. Another promise, another scene, another package lie to keep us trapped in greed. And all the green belts wrapped around their minds and endless red tape to keep the truth confined. They will not force us. They will not stop degrading us. They will not control us. We will be victorious. Interchanging mind control. Come let the revelation, revolution take its toll. If you could flick a switch and open your third eye, you'd see that we should never be afraid to die. Rise up and take the power back. It's time you fat cats had a heart attack. You know that there are times coming to an end. We have to unify and watch our flag ascend. They will not force us. They will not stop degrading us. They will not control us. We will be victorious. They will not force us. They will, they will stop degrading us. They will control us. We will be victorious. Okay, so again with the elbow partner, 30 seconds. What did you square? What did you circle? Did you find some things that the other, your partner didn't find? Compare your notes. Talk about it a little bit. All right, so, so we know that they, so they, who can compare they? We could compare they to the man that we talked about in our bell work, right? It might be the big business, it might be the capital. That's that's the distinction I would make. I would draw that connection of of the capital and, and the other districts uh, might be we. We is the small person, the, the hard working, the blue collar, the district 12, Katniss is we, PETA is we, the capital, the capital, they are they. Um, they will not force us. They will stop degrading us. They will not control us. We see Katniss kind of coming into this mantra um, later in, in the book as she's going through the Hunger Games. Um, you guys did a great job of noticing that um, last class period. So now the last one, we're going to listen to it. This is actually by a band that I really love called Muse. This is called The Uprising. So we're going to watch their music video. Um, really fun thing. So we're going to watch and, and see maybe what we can pull from the video as well as um, does this representation of this text change what we think about it. And, and always remember the resistance. Um, what does it say about the resistance? Are we a part of the resistance? How does it affect you? Does it make you want to be a part of the resistance? Um, what are you resisting already? So we're gonna we're gonna have a great time. We're gonna watch this, and then we're gonna discuss. And then, like we talked about at the start of class, we're gonna have a chance to write our own resistance piece. Um, and some of you will get to perform it if if you'd like to. So let's listen to um, the muse, and and then we'll discuss, and then we'll dive in deep on. Um, creating our own resistance pieces. So